What is happening everybody, my name's Seven and welcome to a Ghost Recon video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the patch notes for Title Update 7. Over the course of this video, I'll be covering the changes to missions and narration, the user interface, gameplay, audio, graphics, store and customization, Narco Road, Fallen Ghosts, PC, Ghost Recon Network and Ghost Recon HQ. Now I've just completed downloading this patch and it was 8.8 .8 gigabytes on Xbox One. It might vary depending upon the actual platform you're using this game on. However, it'll be around 8 gigabytes. First off, in the mission La Gringa, they fixed a bug that would sometimes spawn you on top of Unidad soldiers when you were killed. In the mission The Convoy on Kawani, they fixed a bug causing players to sometimes have to spawn in a tattoo when they died doing that mission. In the mission Marcus Jensen, they fixed a bug which caused the mission to sometimes become unavailable if the escaped vehicle had been destroyed prior to interrogating Marcus Jensen. Now, they haven't fixed any other mission glitches, but these are the ones that they have sorted. So, if there's any other ones that you're experiencing, we will have to still wait for those. They've done a couple of changes to the user interface. The incorrect time information is no longer displayed on boost window after activating the two hour booster. The G36C folded buttstock description now indicates the actual unlocked location. They also added a setting allowing players to use the new helicopter controllers without having to worry about having their HUD turned off. I've played with my HUD turned off before and my controls basically just didn't function like they should have. They've also fixed a bug that sometimes caused redeploying while flying a helicopter to display the helicopter crosshair in every vehicle and it would basically just glitch out and obviously people would be like well hang on I'm driving I can't shoot in a car it doesn't make any sense so that's uh, been fixed as well now they've added a bunch of gameplay ones they've improved the new helicopter handling controls uh, when they're close to the ground I know a lot of people didn't like that and so they've increased the handling of the helicopter when it is closer to the ground they've also fixed a bug when the helicopter would sometimes land and it would bounce off the floor it would also bounce off the floor from startup as well and they've sorted that as well you can also now spawn in all purchased or rewarded vehicles while playing in offline mode as well as online mode as well i know a bunch of people have problems to trying to spawn in their rewarded items in the offline mode itself they fixed a bug causing the player to be unable to use their binoculars their drone or their ghost squad or rebel support commands after they've been revived from a shutdown vehicle so once you come out of the vehicle you wouldn't have problems trying to pull out your drone etc they've sorted that out now you don't have to worry about spawning a way to try and get those back if you've ever shot a submachine gun and there was a weird glitch where there was no sound for it that glitch has now been patched now there's been changes to the graphical side of things that now under the graphical section they fixed several clipping issues in character smith and they've also fixed an issue where the secondary ammo was not shown correctly on certain vests in store and customization they've also added more color options for the ghillie suit and they've also added new options to the cry tops and pants now for the dlcs i'm just going to show you a screenshot of what they've patched because these are missions that of course a lot of people have played in the past um, but i don't think there's that many people playing narco road anymore but they fix some uh, glitches in the electro air race in profit on wheels and truck off and die in fallen ghost they fixed the glitch that was causing the mortar danger zone to sometimes not appear and you would just get hit and die they fixed the bug causing the distance to marked enemies to not display for the new npcs that would spawn in in fallen ghost they've also fixed the glitch that caused numbers not to be displayed on enemies while using sync shot for you PC players, they fixed a bug where the reverse vehicle camera would start shuttering when driving. That's prevented now. They've also helped out with the steering for the helicopters. Uh, this would basically mean that the helicopter mouse steering would remain active after switching the control scheme to new to classic. When you know you would do this, it would basically glitch out. They fixed that. They've also sorted out the Toby eye tracking sensitivity option that would not work. That's now working. There was a weird graphical corruption anywhere near to the Libertad City on AMD GPUs the people would struggle very much about this and it would just glitch out they fixed a bug where the volumetry god rays would actually pass through buildings and walls in certain conditions they fixed this and finally they've also fixed the bug where the pitch icon was missing from the hood when using a steam controller now to finalize the patch notes there are mentions of some changes to the ghost recon network which I'll show you on screen and the ghost recon HQ now I I hope this has helped you and at least opened your eyes a little bit to the changes in game they're progressively still working on it and i know a lot of people 
people are asking for PvP. It will be coming, we've just got to be patient. And I believe because they did say they would be getting something before the end of the summer. The end of summer is the back end of September. So at the most, I imagine we have to wait a couple of weeks. So let's hope that is true and we can actually start be playing pvp very very soon i hope this patch notes video has helped you out and i hope that you enjoy your game that little bit more thank you for watching and i'll see you in a future video my name's been seven also known as martin lee wood like and comment on all that you love peace